What's going on guys and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. So today we're going to be working on the Plesiosaur platform saddle. Uh, pretty much just want to make it like a, a mobile gasoline getter. Um, I don't know how this thing works or I know it pretty much just works just like the Bronto. But I'm going to bring him closer to shore so that I don't have to bring everything out here to him. Um, I'm thinking weight is the best choice right now. So I think we're going to just bring it to about right. I want to bring it right up against the dock. I really do. But I need him at the surface. Come on. You can do it, buddy. All right. That's probably the best I'm absolutely ever going to get. Like ever. That's actually perfect. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and grab the saddle. Um, my brother's actually level 80, so I got lucky, and I didn't have to go ahead and craft it, or level up myself. I did give him the materials, and he crafted it for me. I don't know if it was my brother that was level 80. Somebody in his squad, it's level 80. Um, and had him craft it up for me, so I didn't have to, uh, go ahead and do it myself. I didn't have to level up five times, because that would have taken forever, and... With TwitchCon coming up, I don't really have the time to do something like that. So it's going to be a little bit harder because it's got like this idle motion going to it. So let's go ahead and build, grab some building supplies. Like I said, I just want to put like a refining forge on them. Just a little house. Just something to get gasoline going so that I can just cook gasoline underwater and everything. Uh, there we go. Here, There's these. We'll throw that bag in here. And I've also decided to put a little chest here just for the temporary building of this castle. So that I don't have to keep bringing Fluffy over here to get everything done. Alright, I'm gonna jump on. There we go. We don't need anything massive. Just something decent. Is that good? That's pretty much right up to the edge. Awesome. There we are. Oh, don't jump off, please. And we'll probably just do... That's probably enough. That's, that's probably enough. We're going to jump off. We're going to go grab some walls real quick. And then just a little door. This isn't going to be the entire episode. It's just going to be a good chunk of it. And then we are going to be working on expanding the platform a little bit just for the end of the episode. Because, again, I want to make this, this walkway one more wide. And I need to expand it out in one direction. So that's what we're going to do. Hoi. There we go. Awesome. I'm not sure if we can go too high. I really am not, have no idea, but we might end up deleting stuff as we go. Let's hope that it's pretty much just the same as the Bronto. In that case, we should be able to get this going. There we go. Then we just need the doorway, the door, walls, and ceilings. A little refining forge. We could even put a fabricator on there for silica pearls turning into electronics if we really wanted to. Um, I don't think I'm going to, though. We don't need that many walls. We need, like, literally one more wall. And we don't need that many ceilings. That should be good. Just something to mobily make gasoline on. That's pretty much all I'm trying to do here. I'm gonna hop off. And then we have the ceilings. There we go. A few more. Awesome. And then we just do the door. Nice and easy. Server lagging or have I run out of things to do? No, I just... There we go. Just wasn't working. All right. So this is our little mobile setup. If it'll let us in. Yeah, there we go. We don't even have to do a ramp because we can just walk straight onto it and it pops us up. Let's go ahead and grab the refining forge and just give this baby a, a whirl. Just give it a little bit of a water test to see how it actually works. Refining forge and we're just going to go grab some wood real quick. So after this episode, we're going to be working on the brand new castle out on this giant dock that we've built. Um, and then after that, we're going to go for another try at the Mammoth. We're going to stay away from that mountain and probably head to a different one. 
are it probably is a good idea to stay at that mountain but just go to like a different area because the area that i was trying to do it in was just crazy hostile 29 wood should be way more than enough there we go fill up our water as we run by and on up and over there we go let's refining forge down get some wood a burning in there and we're gonna go hit some some oil spots and see how this thing does in the water there we go refining forge thank you and we're gonna plop it down go ahead and throw some wood in there I'm pretty sure actually don't we need leather for gasoline I thought don't we don't we need hide I'm not 100% sure I don't remember we're just gonna throw it in there anyway Okay, and now we're going to give this bad boy a whirl. Oh god, this is going to be nuts. Alright, so we got our underwater base going. If I am to get off of him underwater, I can come in here. Can I actually light the fire underwater? I can. That's nuts. Alright, so we're going to go up for air real quick. There's <laughs> a little, little bit of fire coming out of the butt. That's great. All right, we're gonna head down, and we're gonna go to one of these oil spots. Probably need to go a little bit deeper for that. Can't really see any oil spots. Usually they're just right around here. Oh, getting a little bit of lag, come on, get out of there. This thing is massive, but it's really freaking cool how this thing works. All right, where where are the oil? Where is the oil? Why can't I see any and why is there none here? There's always a bunch here. Let's go a little deeper, I guess. And let's hope that no group of megalodons comes out of nowhere. Even though my plesiosaur can more than handle it. Or actually, we got to hit the surface. I do see oil right there, but we need to get to the surface just to get me a little bit of air before we get down to it. Because I'm really low on air. Yep. Can we please, can we surface? Can we surface all the way please? There we go. I just got myself above the surface. We got oxygen. All right, let's dive. I think with this platform, it kind of makes everything a little bit more clunky. Um... Plesiosaur did work a lot better when it wasn't platformed. There we go. So now we just go off here. We hit this little oil chunk. Nice and easy. And then we throw it inside the refining forge inside the house that's on the back of the Plesiosaur. This would help probably with scuba gear because you can just have the oxygen going. That's probably, honestly, the, the best bet. Throw that bad boy in there, and while you go around looking for more oil, it will just cook on its own. You can do anything with this. Pretty much anything you do with Bronto, but you do it in the water now. So It's kind of awesome. I like it. It's really a cool idea. Uh, so this is going to work for gasoline. Can we get to the surface? only got to the surface for like half a second. Yeah, see, it's a little bit clunkier for getting air. Um, I wouldn't get too far away from the surface. Honestly. I think I'm dying right now. There we go. My health is coming back. Can we, get, can we go up, please? Look at that. Parking. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 parking. There we go. So that's the Plesiosaur platform. Again, it's kind of hard to get yourself above the surface for air, so... I would definitely take down the scuba tanks and all of those things with you if you're going to do this kind of thing. So, since we've done that, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves just a few little building supplies like pillars, etc, etc. And begin building ourselves up. Just to make the platform a little bit bigger so that next episode we're ready to go. 
Oh, they do not want to put it there. So next episode, we're ready to go on building the the legitimate castle. Uh, this castle is going to be absolutely massive McGee. Uh, that's the best explanation I can give of it. Oops. And there we go. Platform's big enough. But just to make it look nice, we're going to go ahead and grab some pillars. Um, I think we have ramps left over somewhere. But I didn't bring them out. There's some pillars. Awesome. Jump on down in. We haven't, we're having like a snapping problem here. There we go. Yep, now it's good. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Wood pillar, demolish, boom. And go ahead and grab... There we go. Whoops. Yeah, see, I'm getting a snapping problem with these things right now. They only, f they, they'll fix themselves after I place the next one. That's also wrong. I hate when things don't want to snap. It always leads to issues. There we go. Come on, buddy. Just snap for me. There we go, and... Thank goodness we didn't do this in the last patch. I think there was, a, like, a hotfix overnight that might have changed, like, some kind of coding that made this work. Because I'm getting a ton of issues with it right now. We're just gonna kind of jerry-rig it ourselves. Because it doesn't really have functionality, it's more just for looks. And we're drowning again. Sometimes I forget I need to breathe air. I'd say that's that's an issue. Alright, there we go. So aesthetically, it looks fine. We're going to grab some walls and we're going to make uh, the edge look nice uh, around the whole entire platform. We're also going to measure the platform to make sure everything worked out fine. The ladder is now blocked off, but we'll place another one in the future. Go ahead and swim on under and just get ourselves over to this little ramp over here so we can get over there. Count, make sure everything's even so that we can get into our mega build next episode. There we go. And it looks like everything is good. We got a two by two. We got three on this side. We got three on that side, so we're looking at a three, six, seven, eight by eight by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight by eight. Okay, so we're looking at we have a square now. Everything's good. Um, we just have the double. We'll have the double gate probably brought into about here. This is where the gate will be. Uh, we want a little bit of like a little bit of platform out front kind of as like a garden. Let's go ahead and grab some walls and start placing those down just to make the, the platform look nicer from afar. We'll go ahead and do a wood ramp in between episodes as well. Uh, just to make it again look nicer. Just pretty much that's what we're doing here. You can take this wood back and those stones. Thank you. There we go. This is nowhere near enough walls. There's going to be a lot more walls than this. It's going to be even more walls just to get the damn base done, so. There we go. And the other side should be good, yep. We also have some walls towards the middle that I can delete in order to get some more stone to get this done. And I'm probably going to do that. We'll do that on episode because it's going to be a lot of work. We'll delete that from up top so that we don't screw up. There we are. And this edge is done. Boom. So that's what it's going to look like all the way around. So that it looks like foundations in the water, but it's actually just up on pillars. So these are the walls that I were talk was talking about. These are the really awkward walls that I want to delete in the middle here. Just for supplies to craft up more walls. 
because they're not really doing anything here anymore. Uh, this was due to the original plan of having this be a dock for the plesiosaur and then changing the idea to making a giant castle in the middle of the water. There we go. Radar. All right, and then what we're going to do, get to the surface, get our air, craftables, structures, uh, stone, and then walls. Craft five of those. Let's make sure we continuously get air. We're just going to delete more of these in the middle here. It's getting a little dark out. There we go. This kind of feels weird, like being underneath here, like working on this stuff. very like different especially when the castle's built up top and you're underneath here and you're like there's actually a castle above me and you can't even tell one thing I could do now that I think of it is I could even park I could even like clear out some pillars and park megalodons underneath my castle and just have a hatch that you can leave at the bottom and you can leave at the bottom and get to your megalodons instead of having to park them at like a dock or something like that they'll be perfectly safe underneath everything and we just have one more edge of the wall to delete I believe it starts right here but a bing but a boom actually we can delete one more on this side this is a lot easier than actually gathering the stone myself and crafting everything up All right, and then we should be able to craft five more walls. Eh, four. Four-ish. Let's continue to demolish. We're almost done here. And then the platform should be almost finished. There we go. And just craft up some more walls while we're at it. Take the walls we just crafted and start placing them along the outer edges of this castle platform. Come on. Thank you. And we're just going to need a few more to finish it up. But at least we got a good chunk of this done. Alright, so thank you guys for stopping by today's episode. Uh, be sure to swing by tomorrow when we're actually working on the castle that is on this platform. I'm going to finish up the walls on the outside off camera probably. Or just do it off camera later just as finishing touches. Uh, I really need a ladder on this bridge here now. But we're going to swim over there. Just show you how nice it actually looks when you do these walls jutting down. It looks absolutely amazing, and I'm probably going to do it for this, uh, the helipad as well. Probably do it for the helipad as well, because it's going to look a lot nicer. So there you go, it does, see how, it, yeah, it looks so much nicer like this. It really does. So this is the difference. If you look over here, that's what it used to look like, and this is what it looks like now with those set up. I could go lower to make it look nicer, but at the same time, as much as I want it to make it look like there's no pillars there, I like that it does show a little bit of pillars, so it shows structure. And it shows how methodically this entire thing was built. Thank you guys for stopping by today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Nice little plesiosaur platform. Kind of not really practical, but, you know, to each his own. And it, I guess you could make it practical if you have water bases to raid and stuff like that. I got myself 75 gasoline just off of that alone. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, yeah, adios.